Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share my latest make with you, the Closet Core Mile End Sweatshirt in the most gorgeous sweatshirt fabric. I can't wait to tell you all about it. Everything is available on our website. I'm going to pop links to it all below and there'll also be a link to our weekly newsletter so you can get a dose of sewing inspiration straight to your inbox. So the Mile End Sweatshirt by Closet Core, I chose to make View B, I think it is which is a classic crew neck, but there are a lot of lovely features that make this a little bit different, super contemporary and modern, and a lot of fun to sew. So it has got a dropped sleeve, which I like, because that makes life easy with fitting. You haven't got to worry about the fit around your shoulders. It's supposed to drop off your shoulder, and the seam is running down here. It's got a two-piece sleeve, which is quite unusual for a sweatshirt pattern. And then there are darts on the underarm of the sleeve as well for another little bit of interesting detail. It's got a yoke across the back. And then the band has got a little channel that you create in it and you put a tie through that channel to ruche it up and it acts as like a little bit of gathering. And then also it, the side seams come forward onto the bodice. So that's just another interesting little design feature there. And what I chose to do with mine was go for the top stitching to add some more interesting detail. So this is a sweatshirt that if you're an experienced sewer, you could wrap it up in a couple of hours on your overlock and no problem. Um, but if you want to take it and make some more interesting details, you've got every opportunity to do that. And that is very much the sort of ethos of the closet core patterns. They always have lovely little details you can get your teeth into. So I'm just going to show you a bit closer. Hopefully the camera's picking up that I top stitched the neckband down. I accidentally threw the pattern piece away for the neckband. Um, I've had a bit of a habit of doing this recently, but luckily I was able to just draft my own neckband um, for that. That's a pretty easy thing to do. I think there might be a tutorial on the channel somewhere. I'll try and pop a link below to it if there is. Um, and then I chose to top stitch these seams here. I top stitched these seams down the arm. I top stitched the darts. So everywhere she suggested to top stitch, I did just for that extra little bit of fun, interesting detail. And I'm just absolutely thrilled with the look. It's a lovely relaxed fit. It's not, you know, super fitted, nice and casual, but I just love the way that this tie sort of draws it in and adds that little bit of interesting detail and gives it that nice shape. And the fabric, I have to talk about the fabric. It's just absolutely beautiful. This is the mint green colourway but we've got two other colourways here in the same fabric and I really hope these lights are picking up that beautiful sparkly fabric because when I wear this at home um, and just whenever I catch myself in the mirror wearing it I can't believe how much sparkle there is in this fabric and yet it feels soft it's absolutely beautiful it's so so pretty I just absolutely love it and the other thing that I love about it it comes in two other colours, so there's this gorgeous sort of dusky rose pink colourway and there's also this beautiful dusk, dusty sort of blue, pale blue colourway. Um, but the other thing that's just wonderful about it is the wrong side of the fabric is just it's soft as a baby's bottom. It really is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's a brush back, so it's got a super, super soft feel, um, but it's lovely and warm without being too thick and voluminous as well. Um, it's got the feel of like a lightweight winsiette almost on the back. It's just so, so super soft and cosy. Um, I just absolutely love it. I really do. And I've worn this twice this week already. Um, I just love it so much so yeah absolutely beautiful fabric the perfect match for this pattern I'm really really happy with it so I'm just going to give you a little bit more detail about the pattern I made view B um, but you've also got view A which is the crew neck sweatshirt without the gathering tie at the waist and you've also got view C which is a crossover front with a kangaroo pocket and a hood as well. So you've got different views that you can get out of this. It runs from a size naught, which is a 31 bust, 24 waist and 33 hip, up to a 20, which is a 46 bust, 39 waist and a 48 hip. 
and I made the size 6 which is a 34 bust, 27 waist and a 36 hip and um, I didn't make any fit adjustments like one of the great things about this pattern no, I did make fit adjustments, but they're my usual ones that I have to make on every single pattern ever. But I didn't make any other fit adjustments because the great thing is it's this relaxed, casual fit. So you really don't have to worry too much about the fitting. Um, the adjustments I made were a high round back and forward shoulder. And that's just because I've got curvature at the top of my back. I always make those adjustments on every single pattern. And I can pop a tutorial to how I do that for you below. Um, but yeah, just super contemporary, lots of lovely, details the instructions are really good I've made a few closet core patterns now I made a pair of jeans a few years ago and it was absolutely brilliant and um, they were the ginger jeans by closet core instructions were fabulous there were fit guides that I could download that were just absolutely wonderful and I got the most gorgeous pair fitting pair of jeans I've ever had um, off one of these patterns so I do highly recommend them I've also made their cello uh, dress and top by closet core as well there's just so many really lovely contemporary patterns with interesting design details and and, and skills to sort of opportunities to stretch your sewing skills so yeah highly highly recommend um, in terms of fit the only other thing that I would do in hindsight is I feel like these sleeves are just ever so slightly short on me um, so I would like them really to be probably another half an inch longer um, and I should have checked that because actually I have got quite long arms um, I just haven't had this problem for ages with the pattern so I just completely forgot to check but to fix it what I can do is just cut another cuff and um, to remove this one and sew a deeper cuff onto it if I wanted to to fix it but I don't think it's like you know oh my gosh I can't wear it I can definitely wear it um, um, but just my preference would be for that to be a little bit longer so if you're like me and you've got long arms just double check um, the length of the sleeves um, in terms of the construction it was very simple I sewed the whole thing on my overlocker apart from the top stitching which I did on my sewing machine um, and yeah it was a lot of fun to sew sewing the bulky seams and doing the top stitching on some of the bulky seams could be a little bit tricky um, and I used my humper jumper or bulky seam aid I'll link to one for you below we sell them on the website but it's a little plastic thing that looks like a letter H and you slide it under the back of the foot when you sewing machines trying to work with a bulky fabric or go over a bulky seam the front of the foot will have contact with the fabric but sometimes the back of the foot hasn't got contact with anything and with the bulky seam aid you can just slide it under the back of the foot so the back of the foot's got contact and then that enables it to continue sewing so I did use that and that's my top tip for when you're when you're doing this pattern if you choose to do it and go crazy with all the top stitching like I did um, I also sewed the darts on the overlocker which was a fun little technique um, that I haven't done before I put a tutorial how to do it on our Instagram page so I'll pop a link to that below as well for you um, but that was a fun little technique that I haven't tried before um, but yeah it all came together very quickly it was very straightforward you know nothing particularly complicated at all about this pattern um, yeah so really like fun so something you could whip up really quickly if you wanted to but then equally if you wanted to take your time and add some more interesting details you've got that option too um, and despite adding all the interesting details it didn't take me very long at all to whip this up so I'm really really happy with it um, the only thing that I thought um, might be a bit of an issue was this tie I thought oh you know how is that going to be is it going to be too bulky um, making it out of that same fabric but actually once I'd made it up and tied it I thought no not at all I'm really really happy with that I really like um, the way it looks I really like the way it just cinches it in and all in all I am absolutely thrilled with this top and I will wear it over and over again I know I will um, I did actually have quite a few sweatshirts for my birthday and I kind of thought I don't really need another one but then when we got this fabric in I was like I need to make something out of it and actually I wear them so much during the at the weekends during the winter that it will be really handy to have another one um, the other thing I wanted to mention as well before I finish is that there is um, also the plateau joggers and shorts which are designed to mix and match with um, the mile end sweatshirts or you can just wear them as separate 
shirts um, and yeah I think that looks like a great pattern as well so I just thought I'd mention that in case anyone wanted to make like a lounge set and have the hoodie and some shorts or joggers. Um, the size range on this one is the same again it goes up to a size 20 and it's just a nice contemporary pair of tracksuit pants or jogging bottoms or whatever you want to call them and shorts as well so that's just another part of the collection but we've got all of the closet core or most of the closet core range on the site anyway so i'll pop links to all of that below for you um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed that today tell me in the comments what your thoughts are have you made any cozy makes this winter so far what are your favorite fabrics that you're sewing with at the moment and if you like what you see please like and subscribe and i'll look forward to seeing you next time